Hello, I'm Kim. Welcome to my channel, Finding My Muse. This video kicks off the second of my series, Making Art with the Masters. This is the Mary Blair edition. Hope you'll join me today as we explore and try to copy Mary Blair's It's a Small Old Concept Art. A main resource is this book, The Art and Flair of Mary Blair, an appreciation by John Kane Maker. But you could also search Pinterest, and I've created a YouTube playlist called Everything Mary Blair, linked in the card above and listed in the description box below. First, I'm trying to decide which piece I want to copy. Here's a quick side note. Of course, you can copy a master artist, or any artist for that matter. This is a great way to learn. What you can't do is claim that the art is your concept or original to you, and you can't sell it. You'll always want to give credit to the original artist. Some supplies for this project, a pencil and a pen, a straight edge, some scissors, some colored paper, some glue, and if I had to do it again, I'd use something better like Yes Paste, and a substrate. I'm using black 300 GSM paper, but you could really use anything. Okay, let's get started. So one thing I quickly realized is that I couldn't even use the pre-cut shapes that I had done because most of them weren't even the right size or what I needed. Um, so I started at the bottom left of the Mary Blair piece and I wanted to make that little yellow rectangle. So I ended up just cutting everything as I came to it within the art that makes sense. So here I'm starting with that yellow. Then I realized I don't actually have all the same colors of paper that is represented in this little Mary Blair concept piece. Um, for example, there's really two colors of orange. There's a pale orange and a deeper orange. There's a sort of olive green that I didn't have. So I decided to go with this print. And here's where I started to really veer a little bit from what Mary had done, just by using different colors and in some cases, um, different shapes. I didn't have any black paper to put into the collage, so I decided to leave the black pieces as a painted layer at the end. different things when you start working with a master artist. When you start to copy, to try to make maybe not an exact copy, but something that's pretty close, you learn a lot about techniques that they use. Now, Mary Blair was really known for using gouache. Um, she was mainly an illustrator and typically used gouache paintings, lots of color. I just decided to do this as a collage piece because it seemed like it would be easier. But honestly, it was pretty difficult cutting the shapes, uh, collaging on each piece. I learned that you had to think ahead and it's possible that you know she drew out a sketch, surely. She drew out a sketch of this and played with colors and shapes before she painted the whole piece. Here, in trying to replicate, 
it's just going shape by shape, maybe thinking a little ahead so that you learn how to cut out the pieces as you go. I started out pretty precious and trying to make everything really straight and perfect triangles and it just, it was too much. I, I, I like to move pretty quickly and this took hours. Since I chose to make this piece with collage instead of paint, the lessons learned may be similar but not quite the same. Whatever medium you use, you still have to consider the layers of color, what goes first and what comes next.
Apologies for not having clips of the paint layer. I had to travel across the country while I was creating this piece and I couldn't shoot that layer. But essentially I used black gouache and some Posca paint pens to add embellishments that you'll see in the final piece. I intend to recreate this piece using gouache for the next episode. See you then. Bye.